what's up guys welcome back to my channel i will be getting kind of ready for my job interview with you guys and i decided to record it so why not um just so you guys could see the whole process it's like it's gonna be a vlog but like i'm just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about my day right now um i'm getting ready for a job interview it's at three it's 109 now but knowing me i always take a long ass time to get ready um but um it's for the same company that i'm working at just a different store excuse me i don't know if you guys heard that it's for a different store and the reason why i'm applying to this store is because it's a lot closer to home and i felt like i just need a change because when you work in a certain place for so long it starts to become a routine and i'm okay i'm kind of okay with the routine like every day going to the same doing the same thing you know because i work in the kitchen like i'm okay with that kind of routine but it started getting out of hand to where like there was a lot of people calling now i was getting overworked by my manager i was just it was just it's catching up to a point well it was catching up to a point where i was just not happy anymore and i would just show up literally work like a zombie and go in and go out you know sometimes i wouldn't even be motivated to do anything and it's bad because i do have a title i am a supervisor there um and obviously i have to work they see you working they're gonna work with you um but it just sucked because i was i'm at i've been at that store for it's gonna be three years next month july 4th and sometimes you just need a change from the bs and i remember my new boss is gonna be there for like a year now he got there and me and him did not like each other whatsoever we hated each other's guts and it was just a constant battle where i felt like he was um trying to fire me which he um well not he he didn't almost fire me because i've been in the company for seven years so i kind of know the the policy book by heart and I, I pulled those cards out i was like you're not about to like treat me like shit because i'm not one of your people but after that phase happened um we're really cool now it's just work itself it's just been a lot of hassle and i'm not saying that at this new store it's not gonna be a hassle i'm pretty sure it has its challenges as well which i am ready for but i'd rather just be closer to home because where i'm at now i'm at west LA, and it's like a, it takes me about an hour to get to work during the day because of traffic going to la from where i live at is just crazy it's ridiculously crazy but um yeah i just kind of wanted to um vlog my day and see how it goes like i said my interview is at three and i believe they call you after interview either 30 minutes to an hour after so i kind of want to get my reaction i don't know if i'm gonna get it i have a feeling i might but last time i had a feeling of it um i was let down and i didn't get the position so hopefully this time um i'm a little bit more humble <laughs> and not expect the position at all right now i'm straightening my hair because y'all see my hair is wild in oh my god yesterday okay i'm gonna tell you guys what happened i don't know if you guys deal with anxiety but I do and I hate when people are like oh that's just mental like well yeah it's mental but I mean it's not like something you can control like it's like your whole nervous system is in control of you but last night I was thinking about it I was gonna go to the gym with my friend and I was thinking about the interview the whole day because I was like I haven't interviewed in a long time and I had such short notice like literally I let's say I applied yesterday the manager hits me up the next day and then the following day she gives me the interview date which is like two days only and keep in mind i i'm working and i have two jobs so i literally today was supposed to work my other job and i called out so i was like fuck i don't like looking bad with people but Wherever the money's at, I'm a go. <laughs> um, what was the point of the start? So I'm going to finish straightening the rest of my hair off camera. And then I'll come back to you guys. 
I gotta show you guys my outfit and everything. Oh, I don't even show you guys my makeup. It's just little, like, a little bit brown glitter type smoky thing. So, I'm not done with my lips. So, you guys will see the whole shebang after. Because I don't like doing my lips and then brushing my teeth. But, like, brushing my teeth first. Not that I haven't brushed my teeth in the morning. But, I like to extra brush my teeth when I go out. Like, I brush my teeth a lot. Which is kind of, is that bad? I don't know. I'm, like, obsessed with my teeth. They're pretty white, too. Which a good thing anyways i'll get back to you once i'm done straightening my hair and ready and then we'll head to our interview guys bye i am finally leaving it is so hot out i didn't know what to wear but the good thing about my company is that you could just go as casual as possible so it's not like a business like a it's a business but it's like a it's a market so they don't they don't really expect us to um, look all like office type thing because in reality we don't wear stuff like that we wear coats so I'm just wearing this mustard long sleeve some jeans and some sandals because a bitch is hot and I am on time it's 2 30 I think I'm on time I hope I'm on time I'm supposed to be there at 3 so I have 30 minutes to get there and the good thing is not far from home i'm like all over the place i still need to put on some like chapstick type thing but yeah oh wait let me put on my belt i don't want y'all being like yo you're driving unprotectedly <sighs> oh my gosh so yeah i am going now um i'm, I'm getting nervous but not too bad. Oh, I can't drive. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's see how it goes. I'm excited. Hopefully they don't they could tell me today or they don't take long to tell me if they got it or not. But uh, yeah. I'm out of breath, you guys. I'm like rushing out. I was rushing out of my house. But um I'll see you guys in a little after my interview just got home i'm still in my car from my interview my hair looks like all fucking retarded sorry all retarded um so how did i feel like i did i feel confident i was nervous i am not gonna lie i literally had almost a panic attack like my anxiety was there but it wasn't there like I felt it, but I, I, I mostly panicked, and I feel like that's where it kind of, like, sucks because it kind of messes me up in my interview, but they were asking me some pretty good questions. There was one intense question that I feel like I kind of, like, blanked out for a little bit, like, I had to really think about it, but I think uh, overall, I did good. Um, I don't know. She's going to call me by the end of the day, so I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of sad, like, I want to cry. I don't know why. Like, I feel really emotional right now. But I, I'm a crybaby for everything, honestly. I cry for everything. But I feel like I want to cry right now. I don't know. I think because I was just so nervous that my body is just, like, I don't know. But I did good. I'm about to go inside, talk to my mom about it, and see her opinion. She was giving me some advice yesterday. But because she worked at the store that I applied for. It's hot in my car and let me go outside. So, with that being said, hopefully I'm going to tell her that her friend was actually in my panel. It's funny. Hold on. Viola. Dude, my mom cut her hair. Did you guys see? Look, she's a boy. ¿Cómo crees que hice yo? no sé. Espérame, alguien me llamó y no contesté. Me ayuda a usted. ¿Quién crees que estaba en mi, en, en mi pano? No sé. Néstor. Oh. Eh, Claudia, la TMSG que se llama Carmen. Oh. Y el STL se llama Phil. ¿Tú lo conoces? Casi me pega ataque de nervios. Esto me estaba haciendo preguntas si... Mm. 
Me siento bien, como que sí, pero no sé. Porque la otra vez que agarré la entrevista para ATO no me lo dieron, pero me, me estaban diciendo que estaba haciendo bien. Pero la única razón por qué no la agarré es porque no estaba en el CD Program. ¿Y no Sí, estoy. Pero me preguntó la que me dije que ya cuánto he avanzado, pero yo le dije que como mi, mi tienda no tiene, no tenemos gente, nunca puedo des, desquitarme del suelo. So, a lo mejor le dije, a lo mejor sí, vengo para aquí, puedo, puedo hablar con Jared si me da una hora para avanzar porque son como capítulos. No me dice, oh, okay. está bien. All right, guys, just wanted to close off the video. Sorry, I look all crazy. I just woke up from a nap. But long story short, I did end up getting the position. Um, so I'm pretty excited to start a new journey, a new store, new environment, new people. Um, more time for me to grow, lessons to learn, challenges to overcome. And I feel like with me coming back closer to home, I'll be able to accomplish a lot more. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm very excited actually. So... I think I'm going to just be for another two more weeks at my other store. And I think I'll start my new store after that. But other than that, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.